So greetings from the Southern Yankee Homestead. If this is your first time, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. So like I was saying, I will be messing with good goat hoofs today. So I'm here in the garage and I'm gonna get all the tools I need to go ahead and trim the goat hoofs. Oops, and I think I forgot my gloves up inside. So I'm gonna go grab my gloves here in a minute. But these are gonna be the tools we're using. I'm gonna be using this. It's like a pliers. All right, we're gonna be using this right here. And this is pretty good for cleaning in the hoofs before I start trimming, getting all the dirt out. And then we're gonna use our nifty shear. So just three tools. That's all we need. So I'm gonna run inside and grab my gloves and I'll be right back. So here is Frosty. I have Frosty here on the stand and I have the others locked up in the barn because as soon as they saw this, they knew it's associated with a treat with some food. So I was able to get them into the barn just using this. They all went in and I locked them up. And Frosty, she stays behind because she's our last female that we milked for this season. So she knew that every time she see this, it's time for her to be milked. So she came up on the milk and stand in her own occur. And I just poured a little food in her food bowl behind me. And yeah, we don't want to do anything outside of the ordinary. Because so while I'm taking care of her hoofs, I'm going to have her distracted uh, with some grain so she can eat. And that's the same method we also use when we're milking. We give them a little bit of grain so that can distract them while we're actually milking. And I just want to go ahead and clean it. I don't know if you can see that, but you see how it's folded over? So we're going to go ahead and cut that out. Oh, you didn't hear me? Yeah. So I just finished up uh, doing the editing that obviously you saw just before this and I realized that we didn't do an outro for this video. We recorded a lot of video. Um, the big thing with trimming goat hooves, take your time. Don't try to force the goats to do something you don't want them to do. They will kick back and get ornery, just like an animal. We are new to this. Um, Obviously, I showed you in there. Smaller nippers would be handy. And before someone comments down below, we have a hoof boss, but because of our area and the moisture content, the hoof boss doesn't really work that well. Um, the It's not the hoof boss's problem or fault. It's the hooves uh, for our goats. They're soft. That is, again, because of our area, because of the moisture content. So with that being said, uh, you can trim your own hooves. Uh, the basic idea behind it 
don't uh, dig into the white part in the middle. You want to basically trim everything around it. Think of it like your fingernails. You don't want to trim the skin off your fingers. You want to trim the nails themselves. It's the same thing. Take your time. Be easy. You can do it. We do. So, hope you enjoyed this episode. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.